press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello dear students, how are you all? I hope you are all fine in your homes. Stay safe, stay happy. So dear students, in this class we are going to discuss a new chapter in your book. That is Little Tiger, Big Tiger. Okay. Okay. All of you open your textbook and open page number 69. Yes. Okay. First, I will read this lesson. Go through it. Put your fingers. Okay. Pay attention. Little tiger, big tiger. There was a mother tiger and her small tiger cub. They lived near a river in a shady jungle. When the sky was dark, the mother tiger hunted for deer and pig. The tiger cub stayed close by his mother's side. When the Langkur monkey saw her, he called a loud, harsh call. Watch out! A tiger is coming! The Samhar deer bellowed, the cocker deer barked, and sometimes the game got away. She hunted then for jungle folk, for pheasant and for frog. Or went to the river for fish. But she did not hunt every night. If the moon was bright, the mother tiger lay down and waited for the dawn. She twitched the tip of her tail and the tiger cub pounced on her tail again and again. Turn the page. If he went too far away, the mother tiger called him with a low, quiet grunt. The tiger cub came back but he did not like to stay near his mother in the jungle at night. One night, the mother tiger was tired and closed her eyes. The tiger cub saw a tiny frog hopping along the ground. The tiger cub pounced but the frog hopped away. He chased the frog and caught it and turned to show his mother but she was not in sight. Instead, he saw a tiger, bigger than his mother, near him in the jungle. The tiger's green eyes glistened as he watched the tiger cub. The tiger cub was frightened. He could not hide or run. He let the frog hop away. The tiger crept up closer to the little tiger cub, but a roar filled the jungle. The roar of the mother tiger. She faced the other tiger and he went away. The mother tiger liked to roar. A loud big tiger roared to tell all other animals in the jungle that she was there. All the other animals in the jungle kept far, far away. The tiger cub also liked to roar. A loud tiger cub roared to tell all the other animals in the jungle that he was there. But all the other animals in the jungle were not afraid at all at, and none of them ran away. But there came a year when the small tiger cub was a full grown tiger. He walked for miles alone, hunting for game at night. When he rode to tell all the other animals in the jungle that he was there, all the other animals in the jungle kept far, far away. And the great big tiger that had been a small tiger cub, hearing his own loud roar, smiled to himself a great big tiger smile. Okay, this story has written by Lewis Hamilton Fudor. Okay, okay. the story seems interesting, right? Okay. So, I am going to explain the story. Listen to me very carefully. So, our lesson name is Little Tiger, Big Tiger. You know Tiger? Yes. Who is Tiger? Tiger is an animal. Yes. Wild animal or domestic animal? Yes. It is a domestic animal. Lives in forest. Yes. 
Now the story begin as there was a mother tiger and her small tiger cub. They lived near a river in a shady jungle. There was a mother tiger and she used to live with her cub. Cub means the young one. The child of a tiger is called as cub. With her cub in a in the in the side of a river in a shady jungle. Shady means here. I have written the meaning. Shady means covered with shadow. Covered with shadow means a dark jungle. Near the river they used to live. When the sky was dark, the mother tiger hunted for deer and pig. When the sky was dark means when at the night the mother tiger hunted for. Hunted means captured for deer and pig. For two animals which are those deer and pig. When the sky was dark, the mother tiger hunted for deer and pig. The tiger cub stayed close by his mother's side and the cub used to stay close to her, sorry, close to his mother's side. She used to, and the cub used to in her, stay in her mother's side. When the langur monkey saw her, he called aloud, harsh, called out. Yes, watch out means here langur is the name of a monkey. Monkey saw her. To whom did the monkey saw? To? Yes, the tiger. Mother tiger. And he shouted. What? Watch out. The tiger is coming. Watch out. He is telling to other animals. Watch out. The tiger is coming. The summer deer bellowed. Summer here is the name of a deer. He bellowed. Bellowed means she roared or raised her voice like and sometimes the game got away and the, here another uh, deer is there uh, her name was Kakar he barked bark means again he make a loud voice to tell other animals that the tiger is coming she hunted then for jungle foal and she hunted then for jungle foal. Foal means a kind of bird. Large wild bird is known as foal. And the, sometimes the game got away. Here game means not like play. Here game means wild animals hunted for food by other animals. Means tiger is here hunting for food to eat food. He is hunting. The tiger is hunting for food. He is known as game. Okay. Foal for pheasant and for frog. She hunted then for what? For foal, for pheasant and for frog. Now she, uh, the mother tiger has hunted for three birds. That is foal, pheasant and frog. Pheasant is also a white bird. Frog you know, isn't it frog? Or went to the river for fish. And again then she went to river to hunt a fish. But she did not hunt every night. But she used to hunt uh, some nights. Not every night. Okay. If the moon was bright, the mother tongue lay down and waited for the dawn. Waited for the dawn. Uh, when the moon was bright, means at the dark, the mother tiger lay down. Means she rest. She took rest. And she always used for, waited for the dawn. Dawn means sun rise. D A W N dawn. It's not down. It's dawn. D A W N means dawn. Means sunrise or morning. She twitched the tip of her tail, and the tiger cub pounced on her tail again and again. Twitch means pull. The mother tiger used to pull the tip of her tail, and the little tiger means the tiger cub. Pounce on her tail again and again. Pounce means to rub or to touch like, like this. Okay. Again and again. Who used to pounce? Yes. The tiger cub. Little tiger. If he went too far away, the mother tiger called him with a low quiet grunt. When the cub, when he used to go far away, a long uh, distance, the mother tiger used to Call him with a quiet grunt. Grunt means sound. Quiet loud, quiet low sound. Who used to call? Yes, the mother tiger. The tiger cub came back. But he did not like to stay near his 
mother in the jungle at night okay the little tiger do not like to stay or to live with her mother at the night one night now one night the mother tiger was tired and closed her eyes the mother tiger was tired she closed her eyes the tiger cub saw a tiny frog tiny means small frog who saw yes the tiger cub saw hopping along the ground hopping means jumping like this okay jumping or hopping along the ground the tiger cub pounced but the frog hopped away the tiger cub pounced but the frog gone away he chased the frog chase means to go after him after the frog chase he chased the frog and caught it and turned to show his mother and after cutting uh, the little tiger turned to show his mother now what happened but she was not in sight she was not in sight instead he saw a tiger instead what he saw he saw a tiger another tiger bigger than his mother near him in the jungle near him what he saw he saw a bigger tiger the tiger's green eyes glistened as he watched the tiger cub his green eyes glistened glistened means shine or sparkle shone or sparkled the tiger cub was frightened frightened means he was scared he could not right hide or run he could not hide himself means cover himself or he could not run because he was very small he let the frog hop away what he do what he did he did the to hop he let the frog to hop away the tiger crept up closer to the little tiger cub crept means move slowly now what happened the bigger tiger started to move slowly near the tiger cub but a roar filled the jungle you may guess whose roar it is yes it's a mother tiger's roar the roar of the mother tiger she faced the other tiger and she went away what she did she faced the other tiger which was bigger than her and the mother tiger liked to roar now what she liked she liked to roar like to roar aloud big tiger roar to tell all the animals in the jungle that she was there now the bigger tiger alerting all the other animals that the mother tiger is here you can run away who is alerting to other animals yes the bigger tiger all the other animals in the jungle kept for far away okay now what happened other animals they are kept themselves for far away means they are keeping the distance long away from the mother tiger the tiger cub also liked to roar and now after watching his mother the little tiger cub also liked to roar a loud tiger cub roar to tell all the other animals in the jungle that he was there but all the other animals in the jungle were not afraid at all and none of them ran away why why none of them ran away because his a uh, little cub's voice was not loud because he was still a young one right yeah but they came uh, with all the other animals in the jungle were not afraid yes but there came a year when the small tiger cub was a full grown tiger now after a year the small tiger cub is now grown away he has become now a big tiger adult he walked for miles alone now he is big so he he is not scared to walk miles alone now he can walk or run alone so he don't need his mother to save her now he is big right hunting for game at night game means yeah hunting wild animals for food now he started to hunt at night he was not waiting for the dawn okay when he rode to tell all the other animals in the jungle that he was there all the other animals in the jungle kept far far away now when he roars the little tiger is now grown up now he has become big tiger and now he is roaring to tell all the other animals to keep far away now the, also the other animals are keeping themselves or maintaining distance from 
big tiger and the great big tiger that had been a small tiger cub once upon a time he was small now he is big hearing his own loud roar smile to himself a great big tiger smile now he is uh, smiling at his own like now i am big okay this is the story of a little tiger who has grown up now he is roaring and he is hunting at night and the uh, and this uh, story is has written by louis hamilton filler okay how was the story is it interesting yes it is very interesting now these are some of the meanings shady means covered with shadow game means hunting wild animals hunted for food dawn means sunrise or you can call it as morning roar means producing loud sound roar tiger roars so dear students this is our story little tiger and big tiger let us stop here thank you